Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Alex here, and it's been forever since I've done anything on the channel, so I figured let's start off with some Minecraft. You're going to want to grab the Dark Oak log, a full setup of Dark Oak, the full setup of Acacia, and I should have a full setup of Stone, but I'm using the half slabs to make the full blocks because I'm too lazy to jump back and forth. Grab a Dark Oak logs and playing with your half slabs, you should have full blocks of uh, Stone Bricks for this. And you're just going to go around and create a nice little frame. Uh, the dark oak logs are marked in the corners. Um, I mean, it's pretty obvious. Log, space, full block of stone brick, three spaces, full block, log. And then on the ends, you're just doing two stairs that go into the logs. And you're filling the gaps here at the end with half slabs. So it's a five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. It's five by nine square. And you're kind of just making the base for this house, and the whole theme behind this house is is a like nor like a Norse theme to it. I've been looking up Scandinavian architecture, getting in touch with part of my ancestors, and that's pretty much the base of the house. The rest of it, we're going to be using the acacia, and we have some dark oak setups. So. Get a full setup of that, and you make a little frame for the door, so, and you, then you do a 3x3 three three with a center hole in the middle for a window. And then, we're going to take that acacia, and we're going to start marking out the other wall. You're going to place one block, because there's going to be a window above that. Skip one, do three, make another little 3x3 three three window hole. And the empty spots there, we're just going to put some logs there. I just want to get the good chunk of the wall down before I raise up all the logs to the height of everything else. So go around and do that. Then pop some acacia on top of that. So we have all our little windows made on the first floor. Nice, simple, but in the end, it, it looks nice in my opinion. And then on the logs, we're going to place some upside down stairs on the long ends of the walls. We're not going to do the short ends. I'm going to come back and finish that towards the end of the video. And we're going to place half slabs that are upside down in between them. And kind of making room for the second floor. It's going to come out a little bit. On the corners, we are going to place two logs. One, two, one, two. And the whole purpose of the upside down stairs is just to give the second floor a little bit more room. And then you're going to do a line of sideways logs across the bo bottom. On top of that, we're going to come over with our acacia logs and fill that in. I'm just looking at my notes to figure out things right now. Okay, now we have that figured out. Just going to go down with the line of acacia logs on top of that. Then in between, I'm going to start lining up how to set up the window. So, not placing in the wrong spot, I'm going to place a line of two blocks on both sides, so a little two by two, leaving room for two glass panes in the center. Power over to the other side and do that. And then coming in one block from that, you're doing three lines of, of planks on top of that. Kind of outlining the window and giving us plenty of room for the roof. Because it's going to be a little bit of a half slab design once I remember how to do it. So, we're going to take our stairs and do them upside down there and we're going to bring them around the corners i'm just doing two sides at one time so you're going to have it you're going to have a full staircase on the long end of the building and you want two of the little corner things on the short end and it's kind of wrapping around the building give a nice little texture to it and then we grab our half slabs eventually Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, silly me. Instead of dropping our staircases, on the inside, closer to the 3x3, three three, if you imagined it there, you're going to place two stairs on the edges and drop your stairs again because you reset your button setup and you can't remember what it used to be. Then you just go around and fill again with upside down half slabs. On the long ends, we're ignoring the short ends now, we'll get to that in a minute. Then, looking at our notes again, grabbing our half slabs, do a nice little line next to that to 
finish off that little chunk. Then after that we're going to swap over to our full blocks and do a line next to that. And you should be seeing the whole idea behind the roof right now, raising it up half a block at a time. It's uh, simple, but in this design it looks nice. And then just do a line of full blocks down the middle so we don't have to switch back to them again. And on each side of that, do half slabs and make sure to kind of thicken the roof up there before you bring it down to the other end. So place a little half slab under that end. And next, we just have to finish off the roof and add little pointy bits. So, actually, I messed up. Uh, for the top half, we do upside, we do sideways logs, and then we do a line of half slabs on top of that, which are pointing over the edges of the roof by one half slab. So it adds a little bit of a different texture to the roof, kind of makes it look like it's being supported. I just have the dark oak on the end, so it does not, you don't see the end of the logs. Now coming out to the side of the building, since it doesn't look neat and stuff, on the log just do upside down stairs and then finish that off with some half slabs. So upside down stairs on the logs and then half slabs. That way it looks like there's a natural seam to the building instead of it just jotting out one block on each end. And now for the little step down, I did an upside down stair that goes up to the door, land into the building, and then I just did a half slab there. So it kind of looks like it was it's a little natural. And it's a little different in my opinion. I'm gonna go grab some stuff to decorate and I'll start designing the inside of the house. Correction, I can't say we're designing the inside of the house. I left it, I'm leaving that up to you. Uh, we're finishing the house by putting like the inside floors. We're popping in all the windows and little window holes there. I popped the door on there. I did the spruce one because I just like the overall theme of it. As I'm remembering my button layouts, the fact that that's not right. So I fix that eventually, hopefully. Uh, so now when I hit that button, I should be able to select, yep, half slabs. And you just go around, fill the floor in. I have a ladder that goes up to the second floor by the front door. And popping over that. I just pop a ladder in there. I mean, by all means, you can put a staircase. It's just not big enough, in my opinion. So I did, just did the ladder. And torches on the first floor, I did on the logs for decorative purposes. This little trap door to close off the second floor. And I cover that up, I just did some half slabs. Um, in survival, because I actually do use this building in one of my survival games, I just kind of made this little workshop and storage area. Some torches in there for cut lighting. Coming out to finish off the glass. And then torch it up on the outside, that way have some little protection from mobs and whatnot. Again, I'm just placing it on the logs because it looks neat and symmetrical and all that fun stuff. And that is pretty much it. Just gonna get everything out. And now fly around time, showing off that beautiful house. Has a little bit of a Scandinavian theme to it. I did, it's not 100% true. Um, I did put my own little flair into it. And definitely the color scheme. I've been trying to get more and more with the odd stuff. Um, I'm not going to do stuff out of jungle wood that often. I just don't like the color of that. For those of you following me on the Deviant Art, I'm working on a I'm working on a texture pack where I literally take jungle wood and I just make it green. Which, in that in my opinion, that works a little bit better. You have a different color in the game. It kind of plays with the whole jungle colors. And it works great, it's beautiful for roofs and stuff. I believe I post a nice little covered bridge. And that's gonna be it for Minecraft. If you have any recommendations, something you'd like to see, leave a comment down below, hit that like button if you liked it, and as always, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Other than that, this is Sergeant Alex, and I hope you have a nice day.